Hello guys! So, a different vlog from me today. I am in Paris. So, I am here with Givenchy for... It's really funny because um, loads of people were commenting on, on my Bista Village videos talking about how I pronounce Givenchy. So, we're not going to talk about pronunciation. But I am here because they are just launching their new perfume, which I actually have here, which I'll show you in a minute. And I love Paris. I actually haven't been for quite some time. I'm coming back quite a lot this year. I think I'm here next week as well. So I'm going to give you a quick room tour. We just checked into the most beautiful hotel ever. It's owned by Rosewood Hotels and I've stayed at their hotel in London. But yeah, I just thought it would be nice to take you guys along with me for the next kind of whirlwind 24 hours. And I thought it would be nice to do this as a separate vlog to my usual kind of weekly vlog. So I really hope you guys will enjoy it. It's also snowing, which is so beautiful and just so lovely. I feel like this room is so perfect. I want one of my family members to be here with me to enjoy it too. So let's give you a tour. These are cocktails that are already made up. How incredible are these? And how beautiful is this? I need this in my house. Da -da -da -da. How stunning is this? This bed is fit for a princess. And on the table, I have some gorgeous flowers. I have a delicious drink. This is a rose, how insane. With a little note. And then we have, I'm so excited. I'm gonna use all of this tonight. So this is, I don't know what this is. I think this is a matte finish radiance loose powder. Oh my goodness, that will be so good. This is their blush, or else the mascara. Another mascara, Ooh. oh my goodness, and a lipstick, or is this a lip balm? And then this is the new perfume, how exciting. So we will try all of this tonight. And then the view is just stunning. So there are three windows, this is my suitcase. I've also already found the sweets, guys, because this is me and I love sweets. So yes, there is evidence I have eaten lots of sweets. And then I had to ask someone to come and show me how to open these windows. My face is really shiny, sorry. I think it's because we got the Eurostar. So I'm a bit shiny, let me. I still can't open the windows. Okay, here we go. Look how gorgeous this view is. And then into the bathroom. Marble, the most gorgeous bath. I'm going to have a bath tonight. And then me, I'm actually wearing a very well themed top. I was gonna do this as a what I wear in Paris as well, but I don't know what I'm gonna be wearing. I don't think I'm gonna be here for long enough to show you, but you can at least see this top, which is really cute. I'm very on theme for being in Paris. And then I'm so excited to try the skincare tonight. So yeah, I feel so honoured and grateful and like crazy pinch me to be here. It's so exciting. And yeah, I just don't really know what to say apart from I'm so excited. So I'm going to go see Emma now because she's also here and she has a balcony. So we're going to go go and see her balcony. So come down with me. So look who I found. This is Emma and we are just comparing rooms, although yeah. they are both absolutely stunning. Look yeah. at this balcony view. This is just insane. We were saying that the snow makes it so special. How lovely. Honestly, beautiful. So Emma's doing some photos now with a Parisian photographer who I'm actually doing some photos with in the morning. So I'm just walking back to my room and you have to see how gorgeous this staircase is. I just love Parisian hotels.
back in my room now. I just wanted to show you the top properly because I love it so much. How cute is this? So I'll link it below. Also got my hair blow dried by Connor. So as much as I want to go play in the snow, I want my hair to be nice for the launch tonight. You went for like a beachy look. I get it done at Sassy and Salon, but yeah, this top, I love it so much. It's so Parisian. So I have like 45 minutes to get ready. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the bath because I feel like I never just relax and run the bath. I'm shaking because I'm just really tired. So I'm just going to have a bath. I'm so excited. So I just got out of the bath and look at this. E! Oh my goodness, they have the letter of my name on everything and here as well. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna get ready for dinner now. Um, I literally have no time to get ready, so I'm just gonna quickly rush through my makeup. Everything I mention will be linked below, but this is the Vici foundation and I wear this pretty much every day. I'm blending this with my Rodial foundation brush. I usually mix this foundation with a YSL foundation or my Armani Luminous Silk. I like to mix. Then I'm using MAC Mineralize Powder with a MAC makeup brush. Again, I wear this every day. This is a Rodial lip colour. However, I realised I didn't like it, so I then put a L'Oreal liner over the top and then just coloured my lips in with it. I find that dark lip colours go so incredibly messy, so I used a Smashbox lip colour over the top of this just to give it a bit more sheen and to blend it in more. This is a Guerlain blush, and I'm using it with Blank Cosmetics brush. I got this from my Rockerbox subscription box. Then of course Givenchy mascara. I've actually been, I've had this for ages. I bought this from Phil Unique, and it's great. And then my favourite brow product by Glossier and of course spraying the brand new Givenchy perfume which is honestly divine. Option one, I never wear black but this is cute, it's basically just a plain black velvet dress. Option two which is like a little cut out kind of plain white mini dress. I have no idea what to wear. I got this top recently and I love it so much but I feel like it's a little bit casual. It's very spring, isn't it? I am not wearing anything underneath, which is why I'm just quickly showing you the top. I think I might go for black. So I'm playing it very simple tonight. I just went for the black dress. I'm taking a Givenchy clutch, obviously. My absolute favourite Gucci shoes. These are so comfortable. You need them and my Burberry coat. I will link everything below. So we're going for dinner now. I'm really excited. I feel so like, honestly feel like a princess in this room. It's so incredible. Just me with my baguette. Carbs are life. We just ate some nice nibbles, lots of french fries. Oh hey! Oh hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> we just ate. I just had loads of french fries, really. What did you eat? I had chicken Caesar salad. Ooh, with perfect. Yeah, some vegetables were so delicious. And here I am with my french fries. What did you have? I had soup of the day. Ooh, oh, I actually did have soup. I did yeah, have some of the sweets in the room, though. I had so many sweets. I told you about the sweets. I'm glad you had them. What the sweets? The sweets at the side of the bed in like a little jar. They're incredible. So where are we going now? Who knows? There's some somewhere. We're going to a venue. I love location. We're going to a venue, and it's the launch. The launch party. The launch. It is the launch. The launch party of the party. So let's do it. It is very snowy, but I have. Someone with an umbrella, so we are all good right now. And just about to get into a car, but I'm not sure which one. Is it this one? Yes. We'll go on the front. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy you're covering my hair. Thank you. 
Yeah. Sorted. Thank you. Hello. Are we ready? Thank you. So real, I've taken half my makeup off and now I'm going to take the rest off. Can I just say that the new fragrance is amazing? I'm not even going to try to pronounce stuff, my Yorkshire accent ruins it. Um, and actually, so it's Blossom and it's really sweet when it comes out and then it goes so soft and spring-like. I'm all about spring, I think I have um, makeup on my head. But yeah, I'm going to take my makeup off now and then I'm going to sleep because I'm so tired and look at this princess bed and I'm so excited for breakfast in the morning but tonight was just epic it was so pinch me it was such a beautiful night we even went past the Milan Rouge and then Paris was crazy tonight because we had such bad snow it's literally been a snowstorm Paris is magical in the snow so make off I'm gonna use the Radiance Reviver cream anti-fatigue because I am so fatigued right now, so I'm so excited. Oh, smells divine. My skin needs hydration. Oh my goodness, that is the nicest packaging ever as well. Good night guys, I'm going to go and get into my gorgeous bed. Morning guys, wowzers, I look tired. Although I did sleep like a princess, my throat has gone. I think this is my body just saying to me, you need to chill and just have a day off. But the thing is, this week, this week? Yeah, the week coming up when this goes live is so mad because we moved to London. And I didn't actually realize we were moving this week. It just kind of happened because my boyfriend, Matt, his job starts and we just got told last minute. 
oh my goodness um i'll do a proper video talking about that soon but you know when you just try and cram like everything in and then don't get enough sleep this is my body saying um you need to sleep so i just got ready i actually used the Givenchy serum and it is so good how did i not know this existed so this is the blossom beautifying radiant serum anti-fatigue i need the anti-fatigue and um, so i am just going to do my mascara i thought i may as well show you the Givenchy mascara i already own this this is one that was just already in my makeup bag and i thought well seeing as i'm here i may as well do my mascara the plugs don't actually work in my room so my camera is about to die which is a bit of a nightmare Right, mascara done. I love mascara. I'm now going to surprise myself with the new perfume because after all, that's why we're in Paris to launch this. Although doing this one-handed is going to be very difficult. I feel like this is going to be my scent of spring. So you guys need to go and smell it. Mm, yes. Okay, so now, um, yeah, breakfast time. I'm so excited. Just got changed. I'm just with a photographer called Charlie. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and we just took some photographs. I'm so excited to show you guys. I basically have, I can't find it, like a rose kimono, and we just kind of shot outside of the window, and Charlie is amazing. So I will show you, and um, we're just gonna go outside now because I want to get some pictures of this very Parisian top before I leave. How beautiful this is, this is so Parisian, so gorgeous, so snowy. It's a wrap, I changed my top, not my top, I changed my coat because I needed to take some different pictures so we've been outside in the snow, it's freezing. I would have loved to have filmed that but I couldn't put my camera anywhere because it would have got even more broken. So I just need to really, really, really quickly pack actually eat something, finish eating, and then we are actually going to get the Eurostar, but I'm gonna film some of Paris on the way. I realize this has been, gosh, sorry, I have a cold, the most whirlwind trip ever. So I'm gonna eat, pack, and then show you some more of Paris quickly while, while we're on the road. Why am I the queen of overpacking? Goodbye, most beautiful room in the world. Goodbye, beautiful Givenchy. Hey guys and good morning, it's a new day now. I am sadly no longer in Paris but I just wanted to come on to say thank you so much for watching my Paris vlog. I had the best time with Givenchy. Oh my goodness, the new perfume is just amazing. So I'll link it below and I'll link everything I wore below and everything I mentioned. And I know it was a really, really quick whistle stop trip but I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. I thought it was better to do that as kind of like a single vlog than a full new and weekly also. I know I'm totally going off on a tangent but this jumper, I cannot believe how many of you have messaged me on Instagram to say that you bought her. It's like my favourite jumper ever and I didn't even expect to like it um, and it's really nice. So do come and say hi in the comments and on Instagram and Twitter at mshellax. Let me know if you guys have been to Paris in the comments. My voice has gone, I literally sound like a croaky old man, I'm so sorry. Had a bit of a disaster yesterday with my hotel when I got to London. Basically I checked into one that was actually quite expensive and I felt really unsafe because I was kind of underground in a basement which I hadn't booked and there were like men screaming outside my door that worked there and they were being really aggressive and I just honestly felt trapped, it was horrible. So I had to check myself out of there, find a new hotel in London. So I paid like hundreds of pounds for this new hotel in London and I hate throwing money away and then the new hotel had no heating all night. So I had to sleep in this jacket which is very unhygienic but I do like to show you guys real life. So yeah, you'll have seen that debacle if you follow me on Twitter. It was a bit of a disaster but 
Honestly, I had the best trip in Paris, so that makes up for it. I feel so grateful to have been invited. It was just such a dream come true. The girls that were there were so wonderful and they were so inspiring and so hardworking and motivating. And just really, I love surrounding myself by people like that. If you guys follow, read my blog, you'll know that I do quite a lot of posts about just not just like channeling positive energy with people. I know I just channeled negative energy then, but like surrounding yourself by positive people. It's okay to have a bad day. Everyone has bad days, but yeah. So I felt like I did that in Paris and everyone was just incredible. Okay, my camera's broken now, so I'm gonna go guys. I have some meetings. Bye bye, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, sorry for rambling.